Hello everybody, thank you for joining me, this is Game God Fluent, bringing you episode 4 of Let's Try Grim Wanderings 2. Um, it's actually day 2 in my Gjallarhorn uh, adventure, and I wanted to sneak in an episode of Grim Wanderings 2 into the mix here, so um, I think we're starting a new game, right? That's where we left off, a new adventure game, I'm yeah, I'm going to be a different class and stuff. Um, so let's pick off something that might be a little easier to start with. Maybe like, um... Paladin... Um... Warrior. How about Knight? Or even Healer would be a good start, actually. I might be an Elven Healer. And then hire my melee characters. Or Elven Knight. Hmm probably go with night now we've already seen these uh, tutorial pop-ups so we can check out the stats here decent enough strength power a little bit of magic power actually well actually pretty good magical power good initiative um, codex of war military matter then we get four points that's different it was three last time uh, maybe it's because well, I actually have no idea why that is, but okay. Um, and we've get, we've got strike for 16 damage. We've got protective position, effect power two and one, and we've got immo immobility, which does 16 damage and imposes retention. Okay, so we can probably work with that. Ah, yeah, we're gonna be the knight. Um, four points to spend. We'll choose this character, an Elven Knight. Sounds pretty cool. I'm going to still try to play on normal. Um, we can read this again. The earth shuddered beneath the stomp of tens of thousands of hooves. The once clear sky was eclipsed by a swarm of arrows. The battle began. Two armies clashed and spun in a bloody dance. One of them consisted of Skydar residents, humans, elves, gnomes, orcs, and other intelligent inhabitants of your world. The backbone of the second was demons escaped from the underworld. On their side, hordes of half-decomposing, stinking undead fought. The view of the battle was bewitching. You had never before seen such a large-scale action. However, the army of Skydar could not resist the pressure of the monsters for a long time. The battle was hopelessly lost. Anguish enveloped your soul. The world in which you were born and grew will be consumed by demons. Images flashed in your mind replacing each other. You see fire rain falling on Skydar. A blacksmith forge and a hot metal disc. Demonic gates and hordes of demons bursting from them. The soul is returned to your body. It was a dream. Just a dream. Begin. Okay, so here we are. Again, I'm skipping all the, uh, the tutorial. So what was it? It does not look like it was an ordinary dream, of which you have already seen a lot during your hectic life. The visions were so real. Did the future really open to you? Got a new quest, Anxious Dream. The dream that you had the day before does not give you rest. The feeling that it was not just a dream does not leave you. You decide to go to a hermit who lives near your home village. Maybe he will dispel your fears. Okay. So we know what to do. Um, first thing is to go to the village. White Edge is a small village that does not stand out in any way. You grew up in it, and every time you come here, your soul is warmed by pleasant memories from your childhood. So, let's go ahead and hire troops and see what they come up with. Okay, we've got... Let's see, we've got a level 2 gnome paladin. That's saucy. If we get along with gnomes, that should be good. A dwarf druid. A level 1 half-elf battle mage. An undying blood mage. An orc warrior. Level 2 ratman, ratman storm herald. That's pretty interesting. And a human witcher of all classes. Okay, so we've got some good choices here. Let's see what elves... Um, we're sympathetic to humans, so that's very good. We trust elves. Neutral toward gnomes. We hate dwarves, so... We hate undying, and we hate... Well, we dislike undying and orcs. We're neutral with ratmen. So the only ones that we don't like here are orcs, the orc dwarf, and the undying. So this one, this one... And this one are out. So that leaves these four remaining. Out of these four, we have to choose three. 
We've got a Gnome Paladin, Half Elf Battle Mage, Ratman Storm Herald, and a Human Witcher. Now, all of these seem pretty interesting. The Ratman Storm Herald has some interesting dynamic power. Magic power and magic power. The Witcher has some pretty good physical power. Decent, you know, dynamic and magical. Also pretty balanced for the Half-Elf Battle Mage, and the Gnome Paladin is very physical. So we could potentially put the Gnome on the front line with a back line of the Witcher, and I don't know, we'll have to check some more. We'll have to check what uh, passives they have. We definitely want this Paladin, though. Divine Force, base support. Heavy armor, sword. Okay, mace and crystals. Can use scrolls. And that's it. Let's see what abilities. We've got energy burst. We've got charge of will. No strike. And divine touch that impo that enters uh, haste. So... That's interesting. No strike to go with that physical prowess. Um, we would have to switch out, basically... Well, no, he's got... Good spiritual power, too. I apologize for the background noise. That is spiritual power, right? Yep. So that's actually good, but we have to do something to get him some physical strength ability, too. Because if we check the Paladin, yeah, it's going to go up in Strength and then Wisdom. So Strength is going to be his best in the long term. And then, no, well, actually, no, Wisdom will be because for Gnome, he's going to gain more, a lot more Wisdom than Strength. So they have it right here, you know, by giving him Charge of Will. Um, but he can certainly tank some damage up there in the front line. Let's go ahead and check out the... Half Elf Battle Mage. Pretty balanced attack. Let's see what skills we've got. Magic Missile. Flame Spirit, which I fear may go to waste if he's not in the front line. And a third that we can work with. So let's see what he's got. Battle Magic. Base Magic. Composite Armor. Axe. Books. Scrolls. Okay. Now let's check out the Ratman Storm Herald. He's got scrolls. Um, books, throwing knives, bow, that bow is nice. Uh, composite armor, base magic, and forbidden knowledge, but no ranged combat. But he does have magic missile and fragility, which is a dynamic power spell, times magic power, that imposes decrease endurance at an effect power 13, and decrease resistance at an effect power 13. Um... Endurance and Resistance are going to be... Um, lowers their ability, lowers their status, like their ability to get a physical status or a, or a magical status. So I'm not crazy. That's really kind of specific. But then again... You know, we'd have... Well, no. Our Paladin doesn't have anything that inflicts a status. Our Battle Mage doesn't either. The Witcher has weakness. Deals damage equal to physical power times magic. And imposes growing tiredness. At the beginning of turn, reduces energy by the amount of points equal to the effect power. Effect power is 5, but... If we've already lowered their resistance... No, well, actually, their endurance, because it's a physical source. No, this is a magical source. So if we lower their resistance, this will take on more of an effect. Which is kind of like a cool synergy, but also kind of like... Well, specific. We have to really remember to do that. Um, he's also got Strike, which is good. This does damage as well. And imposes tiredness for one turn. Hmm. And what skills does he have? Witchcraft and military matter. That's different. Composite armor, sword, magic wand, scrolls. Okay. So, like, I'd say the Witcher and the Storm Herald would come in a package deal. 
and then it's either the battle mage who seems to fit the half elf you know fairly well versus a, a gnome paladin which does not not that it doesn't fit the gnome but his strength is gonna you know quickly go by the wayside but he's gonna have awesome awesome wisdom to you know to carry th those paladin paladin abilities whereas the half elf is gonna be more balanced but um i don't know it's interesting because he does have that wisdom that pairs so well with the with the class whereas battle mage you know intelligence does not have much wisdom intelligence strength pretty much whereas the half elf yeah is suited for that but also comes with you know magic missile which is nice whereas the gnome okay charge of will haste is nice yeah i think we'll go ahead and whoops we'll go ahead and uh grab ourselves a gnome paladin and then we'll go ahead and I think grab the... Well, let's check how the Ratmen... The Ratmen... These are very agile, intelligent class. And he can eventually get ranged combat, which is good. Oh, and his... But the Rat intelligence and agility... Not too good. So he's gonna fall completely by the wayside. Without the proper... Uh, proper build this is magic power yeah his build may be okay right now but it's not really well wait a minute no that I can't say that because he's gonna get the agility and intelligence from the storm herald level ups it's just not gonna be supplemented with his natural level up growth which if you guys understand what that means, it's not that he's not going to get it. He's going to get great agility and, and intelligence. They're going to rank up, you know, 10 and 9, respectively. It's just that it would be nicer if he had, like, agility and intelligence in this level of growth, like 3 or something, for each one to get even more growth. But it is possible. I'm not ruling it out yet. And actually, since he can get ranged combat, I'm going to go ahead and take a chance on the Ratman. Uh, with the Witcher. Bunch of dudes. I think that's a Ratman male. Like, or maybe it's a female. Purple. And a kind of an ear chain thing going on. That might be a she-rat. Anyway, there's our squad. Let's um, go ahead and head to the artifact shop. See what each of us can use. I can use... Okay, wait, I have to... I'll go last. Okay, we've got a sword for, um, what is that? What the heck is that? Allows you to parry in battle, okay. Um, a sword and armor for the gnome paladin, but also a crystal if we want to go magical and spiritual rather than physical and magical, which I think, yeah, we're going to want to get the crystal instead for him check out the witcher the witcher could then get the sword because he has physical the composite helmet and um yeah he's got physical he does have oh this is physical anyway weakness times magic power so it does 16 damage so getting him you know plus physical and magic is perfect Whereas dynamic, not so much. So he'll get the sword. And then She-Rat can get the bow. But she can't do an, at an attack with it. That's the problem. She Oh, we could... Oh, wait. She would need a point in ranged combat. I think. So she's going to have to wait on that. But it's promising. So let's see what we can do here. We want you with the sword. So we're definitely going to get that for you. For 208 coins. Wait. A 
can get a point of trading. Improves buy and sale rate of artifacts and ingredients. Persuasion. Mm, let's see what I want first, I guess. Um, I can never use tier 5 heavy armors, but I can do good at shield. Unfortunately, there's no shield available. Right now, anyway. This isn't the end-all be-all, of course. I also use sword, but I could go into spear instead. See, I'm not sure what I want to use yet. Except the fact I probably want to use potions. I don't know. I think we want persuasion. So four points. Um, we're very good at repairs. Very good at art of defense, which increase, increases physical defense by 0.5 per character level. Considering I'm probably going to be in the front row, we should kind of define our roles. Um, myself and the gnome are going to be in the front row, I guess. But the witcher should also be in the front row because he's a melee. So it should be something like this. Um, let's see what skills everybody has to kind of... Oh, Witchers are great at trading. So we should save that trading point for him. Um, even our gnome can repair. She can lockpick and identify. He can do perception. I guess I, I get repair and persuasion. So I will take a point of persuasion. <clears throat> Three points left. <clears throat> I could repair. Let's see. Art of Defense. Weapon proficiency. Increases physical accuracy. What skills do I have? Strike and immobility. Yeah. I can see that being important. Bodybuilding. Increase hit points by three per character level. We can get that later. Um... You know, maybe Witcher can go with books as something different, and I can go for the sword, and then I could pick that up. Although I don't benefit from the magic power from it too much. Whereas a spear... Level 2 will increase physical defense by 0.5 point per character level when using a spear. That's pretty cool. Whereas level 2 of sword increases parry by 10 points when using sword with right hand. Mm. Can I use spear and shield, I wonder? See, I still have some questions to be answered here. But I think persuasion is one that we definitely want to spend. Um, repair... See, I can have repair 5th tier inclusive artifacts at some point. If I get a point there, I just don't know if I want a point right now. Uh -oh. It's another character level. Yeah, accuracy. Barriers increases sustainability and endurance by 0.5 per character level. We'll check that out when it's time. Um... Alright, let's go ahead and buy some gear anyway. There's heavy armor. The gnome could use it. There's a shield, a heavy armor helmet. We definitely want to get him a crystal. For 128. The witcher at this point. Let's see, composite helmet. I think I would probably go into heavy armor myself um, and I would take perhaps that the, uh, the heavy armor curious magic wand yeah this is just gonna be better for him sword for 208 now if we check his character sheet, or his skills, let's see, this now does 22 
plus the, the tiredness effect, which is now a 6 effect power instead of 5, and Strike does 26, so that really adds up. Um, Witcher can wear a helmet, but so can She-Rat. She-Rat we can get a bow for, but I guess she can't fire it. Uh, but since we can pick up a bow here, dynamic and magic, yeah, that's kind of what we want there. 240 will pay it. At least I don't think she can fire it yet, right? No. She doesn't have that ranged attack yet. Um, probably want the Witcher to have more defense since she's in the back line. So we'll get him the composite helm for 160. Um, and I guess everybody starts off with an armor uh, ability, so we might as well pick one. Um, like I said, I would go with shield, but if we're forced to choose here, I guess I'll go heavy. So, for now, let's come back here and divvy this up a bit. Um, well, actually, you have 128. Let's see what your defense is. Yours is 9, mine's 7. So, I'm going to go ahead and, and get the, the biggest piece of heavy armor, which is this. Yikes, 336. And then... Our gnome paladin can get the heavy helmet for 192. And we're good with artifacts. Um, now potions. Everybody can use scrolls. I can't use either yet, but... We have restore energy scrolls. Do I spend the money now for them? 184. Uh... How do I look with scrolls and potions? Am I, yeah, balanced? I'll probably go ahead and take potions as something different. So we'll get a point in potions. And then we'll go ahead and get our last point in... Maybe spear or mace. I can use dagger, interestingly enough. If we go to back to the, um... Artifact shop... There's a dagger. He gives dynamic power. I have. My next best thing is dynamic power. But we don't have anything that uses dynamic power just yet. Um, so since this doesn't equate dynamic power into the equation, I don't think... You know, adding 8 to our dynamic power is going to too much for either of these abilities. Yeah, duration is based on physical power. Mm. So I don't want to settle for dagger, I don't think. Mace and shield, you know, sword and shield is kind of the typical typical way a knight will fight um, but just to give me something to use right now I don't know that's a whole point we're gonna spend just on dagger um, updates after seven turns but it's quite a few turns well, uh, hmm. Class is that? Lizard man, lizard man healer. Okay, um, resources shop. We don't need anything here. Um, hex description, we can explore. Harbor, 
barn and tool warehouse. Well, this map is the same that we started on last time, I think. Look here, there's Ogre Insurgents. Yeah, those are no pushovers. And a level 2 Ogre Insurgent. Yeah, 178 HP, and they look, they've got gear and stuff. A blue two-handed sword? It's magical? Yeah. This is normal difficulty. Okay, this is more suitable. Gnome Paladin and a Gnome Healer. Can probably take them out pretty good. She's got an explosive potion. He's got a spear. I wish we could take that from him upon death. Uh, so for right now, I'm going to save my point. And... I don't know the basic game flow. Like... Do we start exploring the tile we're on? I saved, so I guess we can, you know, try. Um, this glade opens up to a peak, which is a level 2 encounter. Gorge goes to Glade. Um, let's try the level 1 Glade. You see an amazing sight. Huge flowers of unprecedented beauty grow on a Glade near which a herd of unicorns graze. And I do not want to fight this herd of unicorns, but come closer. Alright, we get luck. Fail. At your approach, the Glade disappears. Maybe you imagined it. Oh, we can spend some time, some turns doing this, I suppose. Um, we'll save manually after each one to kind of reinforce that we can reload. Um, now we've got the gorge as a dungeon. The gorge that goes to a glade. You see a rope bridge thrown across the gorge. Next to it is a small camp consisting of a pair of tents. Let's go to the camp. Noticing you, a group of several persons came to meet you. They look like robbers. Apparently they were. We've got a dwarf archer who can use it, and then some. A half-elf adept, a half-elf elementalist, and an undying battle mage. Interesting squad. Um, what are you doing here? We're guarding this bridge. If you want to get to the other side of the gorge, you'll have to pay a tax. Um, I was not going to cross your bridge. Whether you wanted or didn't want, since you came here, you will have to pay. Oh look, we have persuasion. Let's do this. I will not pay, but in return I will tell all travelers I met about this bridge as the shortest road, and you can collect a good harvest from them. Your negative reputation has increased by 25 points. You're cunning. Hmm, let's think. Okay, hand on hand. But if you suddenly cheat, we will tear your skin alive. Have a nice day. That was ridiculous of me. Why did I think there'd be no consequences for that? Uh, 25 negative rep. Not good, not good, but it does let go. It does, um, spend another, uh, day, another turn. Let's head to the river. You see a ship washed ashore. There are several holes in its body. Let's explore it. Try our luck. Try to go along with the music. As soon as you went aboard, the ship crew met you. At first glance, it was clear that they were pirates. It seems like they were badly hit by a storm. Or something more terrible. Oh, and their hat, they're hurt. See, it's important to check this first. Orc Commander, Storm Herald, Lizard Man Witcher. Um, high thugs, let's just attack them. We want to make up for that bad impression. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, snap. I don't know what he just got a hold of. Um, okay, our Storm Herald. What is this again? Fragility. Decrease endurance. Decrease resistance. Right, so then... Witcher can... Well, it can't reach anybody anyway. Oh yeah, I can reach the orc. Um, so Witcher's tiredness would work more, but I think a magic missile at this point would be just as effective in this battle. Boom. 
Witcher. Step up. Wait. Does not have suitable targets within reach? Can step up and, yeah. Go ahead and use the protective position. That's good for him. Oh, I can come up here. And... I can do 16 damage and retention prevents the character from moving. Or I can do 16... Yeah, let's do... Well, that does 8. Huh. Oh, I don't have a weapon, that's why. I'm just punching him. Kept him from moving, though. Um, so we can pelt him. With... Yeah, she is a girl. And this is... What is this again? Fragility. 29 damage. I mean, we could kill the orc, but it'd be such a waste. Uh, no, it really wouldn't be, actually. Let's just kill the orc. Wait, what was that? She shot her bow? Ten or seven, um... This guy is a Lizardman Witcher, and she's a Elf Storm Herald. Um... Let's work on this one, because we've got Witcher here. Um... So this will do 22 damage, and that'll do 26 damage. 17 or 13 plus... Plus a lot. Yeah, we're going to hit him with this because that's going to knock his energy down. Which means he's down to 8. Oh, I didn't think he'd be able to, to act at all. He just used that on us, I think. Uh, let's go ahead and haste. Um, our girl here. She backs up and rests. Magic missile on you. Boom. Um, oh, swing a ding ding. Almost kills. Ah. Um, I can use protective position. You can restore. Her energy. She's hasted. Ouch. So this uh, fragility. For somehow that works with her bow. I don't know how that operates. Um, wait a minute. She'd have enough. Yeah, she can move forward. 23, 19. All right, let's do this and kill you. Yeah, this is a much more... This is going to be a more successful party, I think. Because right off the bat, we're kind of getting her done. Um, hmm. Oh, can't... Yeah. She's going to have something to say. Yep. attack in. See if I had a dagger, that'd be a lot different, but Witcher Man will end it. So that's pretty cool. I guess we get 19 XP. No, uh, oh, we did get loot. 132 gold, an unidentified treasure, and an energy potion. We'll take all. We'll go ahead and put the energy potion on me. I can use it. And an unidentified treasure. Interesting. Turn four. Definitely want to save now because we are pretty successful just then. 
Um, now, how do we identify this? We don't have anybody who can. I can only repair artifacts. Alright, so we'll have to maybe take it to town. Let's see. Check out the peak. Next. At the top of the mountain, you notice an observatory. Climb to the observatory. Stamina of the following characters have decreased. Five each. Observatory caretaker meets you. It's a group of dwarf... Dwarves, a dwarf thrower, a dwarf paladin, and a dwarf adept. They look pretty tough. Um. What secrets did you manage to discover? Uh, I wonder, like, I don't know. If I pick one of these, is the other one going to go away? What secrets did you manage to discover? We know many secrets and not firm, honest payment. Are we ready to share them with you? 285 for secrets. Uh, deal. The following characters have gained XP. Wow. Okay. Nice. So we all got a lot of XP for that. Sweet deal. I'll pay 285 for a group load of XP. Anytime. Okay, now we can finally hit this dungeon, I guess. You explore the dungeon, and to your surprise, find there a large cavity in which there's a pond of solid size. Walk around the pond. Oh. Going along with the music. Mm, we're fighting come across a settlement of goblins. They seem to have settled in pretty well. An armed group came out to meet you. They looked very alert, ready to attack at any moment. Well, I'm not too worried if they attack, honestly. Well, they do have quite a bit of HP and some physical prowess with weapons and yeah. Uh, hi. What do you want here? We'd like to buy food. How do you manage to live here without sunlight? Not only is there no sunlight here, but there are no people who want to make fun of us or kill us, at least up to this point. I understand. What do you want here? Okay, we can go back to this menu after a while. Um, well, they're evil though, right? I don't think I just want to kill just to kill. Um, we'd like to buy some food. Bread and food. I don't know if this is good prices or not. Um. Ninety-one bread. hundred twenty-five food. Um. We're losing 12 of these per turn, 8 per that. So let's get 91 bread then. Yeah, we'll take it. Um, yes. And this food for 113? 141? Wait, I liked 113 better. 107? Um... I mean, sure. Okay, leave. I don't know. Turn six. Um, I don't want to do any level two encounters. But that was pretty cool. We got through a whole bunch of encounters. And maybe... Well, it's only turn six, so not enough to set up new artifacts here, but... Um, are we still damaged? No, we're at full health. Cool. Um, potion shop didn't reset. Oh, it updates after two turns. Interesting. Healing potion. Yes, I want a healing potion. For 192. Oof. Yeah, we'll take it. Um. Oh, yeah. That was way cheaper than what they go for. Nice. 
But where do I... The infirmary. Training center. Oh yeah, did we want to do any training? Kids getting off the bus in the background. Um... No, I don't want to spend, like, all that coin right now. We're kind of down to 2,000 um, artifacts. Can we have something identified? There it is. Identify. For 30 coins? Sure. Oh! Worth 400. This artifact is for sale. It's a blue treasure. Okay, it doesn't really do anything, so... How do I sell it? I don't get it. This artifact is for sale, okay. Um, sell? Sell two items? No. Sell one item for 200 coins. Yes. Boom. Okay. Cool. Nice find. Um, can we spend another turn doing something? Because if we can, we can go check the, the new items at the artifact shop, or the new artifacts, I should say. Let's see. Oh, we're 41 minutes in, so I want to save here anyway. All right, guys, some positive progress made, and I think we're doing all right to start. Um, you know, we were able to go through a bunch of encounters make some positive progress pre progress get some XP win a battle get some loot so pretty good start here pretty interesting stuff so we're gonna check it check this out more next time and we're gonna see what like the making progress entails as we hopefully continue to make positive progress and see what it what happens we'll try to do that second quest or that first quest with the hermit see where that leads us but I also want to do that tile and sort of um, a paladin and a barbarian that could be pretty tough but that one's unarmed interesting and that one has a bunch of physical but it's using oh it's using spiritual power yeah it's got good spiritual it does yeah but yeah we're gonna try to do the tile where the hermit is which I think is right here um, we're going to try to head there and do the list of encounters and stuff. So I hope you join me for that, and I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate you guys. Stay tuned, because more to come. I'm going to try to sneak more of this in. And, uh, well, yeah, we'll check it out more. Much love, peace, and joy, guys. Bye-bye.